than I am. But again, a PDK log is basically what's called a pulse neutron. And what it does is it looks for, don't, don't get excited, it's not putting neutrons out in the environment or anything like that. It just generates pulse neutrons and what it does is it looks, it, it detects gas and it looks for the accumulation of gas. And it's important to understand the difference between detecting gas and the accumulation of gas. In the well logging environment or world, we look for where the gas migrates to. So we'll have to see a significant column of gas in order to see the gas. It won't just see the gas if it's mixed in with the water. So what we're looking for is an accumulation of gas. We ran this tool, uh, we got down to the 4300 where we couldn't get down any further, we logged it back up. We found approximately a, uh, we found a hydrocarbon interface uh, immediately below the roof of the cavern, okay? We have not gotten a sample of that hydrocarbon interface. We don't know if it's brine from when they originally did the cavern. We don't, we don't know if it's uh, hydrocarbons naturally. We, we haven't gotten a sample of that yet. We will be able to get that sample once they run the casing, then we'll be able to run additional logging tools into the well to be able to get those samples out of there. Um, uh, so we, we had some additional logs we were trying to run, or we, Texas Brine, um, and due to gas in the well bore after they initially re-entered the, uh, the cavern, they had some operational limitations and were able to run several of the, uh, were unable to run several of the logs. Once they get this thing cased, then we'll be able to run some additional logs. And at this time, I don't know what additional logs have been decided to be run. Um, that's kind of about all I've got. Are there any questions on my piece? Or we hold every, all the questions to the end. Thank you. We may have a couple. While we have, we have, anybody have a couple of questions for this, for this gentleman while he's here? Short, you said the last sonar test that was run was 2007? The, the, yes, prior to the camp, the cavern being abandoned, somewhere in that, it's in that range. Because uh, Texas Brian, I think I read somewhere, said their last sonar test was in. 2011. I don't. I'm not aware of that. If there was one, uh, uh, I I know all the research and send it through Joseph if you want. Yeah, I, I'm not aware of that. I, I do know there was one run in 2007. Um, uh, that's the information I've gotten. Uh, I haven't pulled the sonars up from the old old stuff, but uh, I, I do know there was, there was one in 2007. What What I will tell you, Nick, is that. We've been providing Brian since he's came on, come on with loads of information and loads of data, and we're giving him everything that we have available for him and his team to analyze. Uh, I know there were some MIT tests and other tests that have been run. We're giving him everything that there is, but it's going to take some time, even as smart as he is, to assimilate all that information. So we'll get him everything that we have. If you have some other information, get it to us. We're going to feed it to him. We want the answers. We want the right answers. Why is Texas Brian still being allowed to perform these tests and not being all in or, or take charge of this, this process we have? We have staff that we have contracted with Shaw who are overseeing the operations. That's not what you just said. You said uh, Texas Brian is performing all these tests. Texas Brian is contracting out the people who do the tests. We are, it's, we are taking the downloads of the information from their processors and we're getting the same exact information and having an independent analysis of that information. So what we're doing is the way that the test is going to be run by the same companies no matter what. It's just a matter of who's paying for it right now. We're going to get the same information. We're going to have an independent analysis with the best people we can find. Yes, one more on the cabinets. Is it, is it uh, full of liquid or the, the, do they have a vapor space in there? Yeah, what, from what we saw uh, from the logs, um, we, we don't know if it's brine. I, I'm going to call it brine for now, but we don't know if it is brine because we haven't gotten fluid samples yet. Um, but we did have a, let's just call it a water-based uh, uh, to the top of the cavern, and then on the top, that bottom of the eight or nine feet that I spoke about, where the, we had a hydrocarbon interface at that point in time. There is gas in there as well as a hydrocarbon interface. And that's all we know right now. We have not been able to sample. 